Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Lydia and this is Time with Lydia, the Pharmacist. If you're new to this channel, a warm welcome to you. And to all our returning subscribers, thanks so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to live with thyroid problems, specifically hypothyroidism. And I'm going to be giving you some tips that will help you live better with the condition. So please do stay with me to the end so you can learn something. This is a continuation to the video I released last week on hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is a condition that results from an underactive thyroid gland, meaning that the thyroid gland is not able to produce enough hormone for the body's needs. Once it is established that you have an underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism, then your doctor will assess whether you need medication. And if that is the case, then you will be prescribed a tablet called levothyroxine. This tablet replaces the hormone that your thyroid gland is not able to produce. There are various strains of levothyroxine. and Your doctor will give you a prescription to take to your pharmacy for it to be dispensed. Please do check out my last video because the first thing that you need to know is to understand the condition. So check out the video so you can know what hypothyroidism is and the symptoms. Number two, you need to know how to take your medication. It makes a difference how you take your medication. So take it exactly the way your doctor has asked you to take it. Your dose might be a combination of different strains of levothyroxine. So make sure you're taking the exact daily dose prescribed all at one time. It is best to take your levothyroxine first thing in the morning, at least 30 minutes before breakfast. And there's a reason for this. Certain medications and supplements can affect how well the body absorbs levothyroxine. So take levothyroxine at least four hours apart from calcium, iron, and multivitamin tablets. You can speak to your pharmacist for more information regarding this. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it is still within two or three hours of your usual time, if it is longer than this before you remember, skip the forgotten dose. Do not take two doses together to make up for a missed dose. Do not stop or alter the way you're taking your prescribed medication without discussing it with your doctor first. Number three, take your medication consistently. It is important to stick to taking your medication daily because if you don't, it will reflect on your blood results. This can make it difficult for your doctor to get a true picture of your health. For example, if you have been missing your dose regularly, your blood test results will make it appear you are on the wrong dose. And your doctor will then likely increase your dose when in fact the problem is not the dose, but rather taking your medication inconsistently. This can lead to a vicious cycle and make it harder to maintain your well-being. Of course, remembering to take a pill every day for life can be challenging. So there are things that you can do to help. You can get a reminder on your phone or use a pill box or medication organizer. These will help you remember to take your medication so as to ensure you receive the medication consistently. You can get various types on the market. You can get a one-month organizer or a one-week organizer. Number four, changes in your weight might mean a change in dose. Your dose of levothyroxine is calculated according to your body weight so if you have any significant changes in your weight it is advisable to let your doctor know so if any changes are required it can be made number five your condition can affect your emotions and thyroid condition can unfortunately have a psychological effect on the sufferer and this can go unnoticed sometimes if you realize that you feel emotionally and mentally not quite right for some time, even after blood tests return to normal, it will be helpful to discuss your feelings with someone close to you that you trust.
Alternatively, reaching out to others who have had similar experiences through patient support groups or telephone helplines, that is if you live in the UK, can be helpful. Number six, be aware of certain foods and drinks. Caffeine can stop your body absorbing levothyroxine properly, so it does not work as well. So you should wait at least 30 minutes before having a drink containing caffeine, such as tea, coffee, and energy drinks with high levels of caffeine. Consume calcium-rich foods and soya at least four hours apart from taking levothyroxine as they inhibit the absorption of levothyroxine. Number seven, you won't feel better immediately. And this is because levothyroxine is a slow-acting drug. So it may take several months for your symptoms to reduce. So bear that in mind so you're not looking for immediate relief. Also note that if you have had a change of dose, it may also take a little while for you to feel benefit, any benefit. So a little patience is required. For this reason, blood tests are not usually offered until three months after starting or changing your dose as your thyroid levels will still be adjusting. Usually your thyroid hormone levels will be measured every three months until the level has stabilized and then every 12 months after that. Number eight, biotin can give a false blood test reading. Biotin is also known as vitamin B7 and is used in many cosmetic products and supplements to promote hair and nail growth. Large doses of biotin can sometimes result, result in false thyroid hormone levels, giving a reading which suggests an overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism. If you're taking biotin supplements, the American Thyroid Association advises avoiding these two days before having blood tests to minimize the risk of a false reading. I would also advise that you let your doctor know you have been taking these or any other supplements when going for your blood test. Number nine, your hypothyroidism needs to be managed differently in pregnancy and conception. If you're planning a pregnancy or are pregnant, your dose of levothyroxine will need adjusting to ensure your thyroid stimulating hormone is at the right level. This is because thyroid disease, if undiagnosed or uncontrolled, can make it harder to conceive and can cause problems during pregnancy. Your doctor will adjust your dose to try and achieve a desirable level of the hormone in conception and throughout the remaining pregnancy. Last but not the least, number 10, breastfeeding is safe whilst taking levothyroxine. I hope you have learned something new today. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, share with family and friends, and don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please remember to hit on that subscribe button and also on the notification bell. Thank you so much for your time today, and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.